so exciting because we are making bone broth so with bone broth you have two batches the first batch you cook for six hours with raw chicken in there to cook the chicken and then you put the bones back in and cook that for 24 hours you really want to use organic range-free chicken with this use good ingredients because this is going to be soaking and steaming and simmering in your crock pot for long periods of time so i've got my herbs in there and some garlic what i do with the garlic is i slice off the end to really help to infuse the garlic and give it a delicious taste so I am adding in all of my ingredients and that's right, celery stalks with the leaves. The leaves have a lot of nutritional value as well. And that's just the end of some celery that I had saved. Keep your scraps, you can use them in making bone broth. Add in some turmeric it will give it a little bit of a yellow tint like on the chicken but it has great anti-inflammatory properties so I definitely sneak in turmeric everywhere that I can and there we have another onion scrap so whenever I'm using onions throughout the weeks I put them in a ziploc bag in my veggie scrap bag and I keep that in the freezer and use it for my bone broth So you come home from work or if you're just at home you will notice the aroma in the house it smells amazing grab yourself a little mesh strainer like this and that's what we're going to be using to get all of the veggies out and keep the broth here i'm pointing out you can see the components in there that is gelatin so gelatin is going to bind to the water in your digestive tract helping food move through your gut easier this broth is full of nutrients and minerals and the apple cider vinegar helps release the nutrients from the marrow and the bones so what I'm doing is taking off the meat from the bones and I'll put in one pile all of the meat and I'll use that throughout the week um, in recipes, chicken salads, things like that and then I'm going to save the bones and cook them in our second batch of bone broth. With this, you get the collagen, and that's gonna help you have a youthful, bouncy skin. It can help improve knee joint symptoms like pain and stiffness. So I'm getting ready to pour the bone broth over a strainer just to catch any remnants of anything into a mason jar, and I'll keep that in the fridge for five to six days. And I drink about one to two cups of this per night, and then any leftovers I will freeze, and then just thaw it out the day before you want it, and heat it up and drink it. So there is a small layer of fat that forms because this is bone broth and you can just scoop that out and discard it or keep it for cooking and then you'll be good to go to drink the rest of the broth. And we're getting started with our second batch and this is going to be the big one. It cooks for 24 hours. I've seen some people go for 48 hours but that's really unnecessary. 24 hours is the time where all of the nutrients are maxed out so you're not going to get any more nutrients out of there and you're basically just wasting time and actually your bone broth because it can continue to evaporate out so only do it for 24 hours and then i have a lot of veggie scraps that i've saved and then any other cooking scraps that are more recent it all goes into the pot and then i've listed the other ingredients and the amount of them that i use for 24 hours really helps to extract all of the nutrients from the bones. The bone marrow itself is full of nutrients like iron, vitamin A, which is great for your skin, vitamin K, fatty acids, selenium, zinc, and manganese. So 
Also, when you're drinking this bone broth, it is a really easy way for your body to digest all of these nutrients and minerals. And I'm gonna point out that this is cartilage, and whenever you're drinking bone broth, when this cartilage is broken down, it's what's gonna help your joints since they can wear down and shrink from using them. And there's studies that show that gelatin increases the amount of collagen in your tissues. The reason I started making bone broth is because I learned that it can help heal leaky gut because it contains glutamine, and that plays a role in healing the intestinal barrier. It can even help people with IBS because they usually have lower levels of amino acids in the body, so supplementing with bone broth can be a great source of these compounds as well as getting those anti-inflammatory amino acids into your system. And there is my curry chicken salad recipe. It's also in a video. It's one of my favorite things to make with this leftover chicken. Bone broth can also help you sleep because of the amino acid glycine, which can help you sleep better and also help you during the day to feel less fatigue. I definitely notice that it can help me if I want to lose some weight from helping me feel fuller longer while still getting something that is very high in nutrients. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some important tips whenever you're going to make bone broth. This makes about 18 servings of about a cup, a cup and a half of bone broth and you can definitely drink it at night, in the morning, in the middle of the day, I like to drink it at night. So I freeze them and the smaller containers is one serving, the bigger containers is two servings so they'll last two days. It's really thick when you go to pour it out and then as soon as you heat it up it gets more liquefied like this. So if you are a meat eater and you still are eating chicken and meat and you're okay to boil the bones then this can be a great way to get all of those nutrients in. I'm recently transitioning into more of a plant-based diet. This is the best way that I found that I'm able to get collagen and gelatin into my diet but I'm gonna have to find an alternative. I still wanted to put this video out because I know bone broth can be really healing and it can help people with leaky gut and if you're becoming health conscious this is a great way to transition into that. Hopefully you'll check out the rest of my channel and you'll see what I was able to come across to find a vegan alternative to this. I'm right in the midst of kind of doing my own personal research and making changes and I really did love bone broth um, but it was for the nutritional benefit so I'm okay to switch to something that doesn't have meat or animal bones in it but I just need to find what it is that is going to replace those minerals and vitamins and the components that I really want. Um, but for this, here is this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you soon.